So this video is going to be all about some pros, some cons, and some things right down the middle when it comes to living here in South Jersey, and we're going to get into it right now. Two Minute Tuesday. My name is Alex Chaplinski. I'm a local realtor right here in the South Jersey area. And today we're going to be talking about some pros, some cons, and some things that can go either way when it comes to living in South Jersey. If you like what you see on this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click that little notification bell. And let's get into it right now. So we'll start off with the pros. Number one is location, location, location. South Jersey is located dead in the middle of three major metropolitan areas, New York, Philadelphia, and the DC metro area. And of course, it's right along the Atlantic Ocean, so we have beaches on the entire coast. Speaking of the beaches, the beaches are absolutely beautiful. The towns in the barrier islands make our beaches so much fun to be at. There's never a shortage of things to do between rides and food and beer. And of course, just sitting out, relaxing, enjoying the sun and the waves. Now, if you're like most people here in the South Jersey area, your sports loyalty is going to go to the Philadelphia teams right across the bridge. But if you're a fan of New York teams or DC or Baltimore, you're only two hours away from those stadiums, so you can go see your teams multiple times per year. And even if you're a fan of a team in Boston or Pittsburgh, it's only about an hour flight to both of those places. And of course, if you're in the majority in that you like the Philly sports teams, that means you can watch your team in all kinds of different stadiums and venues all across the East Coast in only a couple hours worth of driving. And another pro is there are so many things to do. No matter where you are in South Jersey, you're realistically within an hour to a beach or an hour to Philly. You're two hours from New York City. We have Atlantic City where you can go hit the casinos. And if you're like me and you enjoy the beer scene, there are tons of breweries and restaurants all over the area. And even if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to hit a fast food place or some chain restaurant, we have 24 hour diners everywhere. You will never run out of things to do here. And now for the cons. First off, the big one, property taxes. They are through the roof here in Jersey. Some sections are just plain ridiculous, but I did a video on the cost of living in New Jersey that you can check out right here. That goes a little bit more in depth in this topic along with other cost related items for New Jersey. But there's no question that the property taxes here are high. Another con is sales tax. Now, particularly Philadelphia is higher than ours, but when you consider Delaware as a 0% sales tax and we're hanging just below 7%, we're definitely gonna mark that in the con section. Another con is public transportation. Now, this one's tough because we do have public transportation here in Jersey. The problem is there's only a couple areas where the trains run and mostly that's just to take you to Philadelphia. But if you're like me and you like to drive everywhere, that's the easiest way to get around in South Jersey. Because if you're not located near where one of the trains are, you are at the mercy of the NJ Transit bus system. And I have nothing bad to say about the bus system. I have no opinion either way. But when that's your only option for public transportation, we're gonna go ahead and list that in the cons. Another con is when you go anywhere else, you get the, oh, oh, you're from Jersey? Oh, you're from Jersey. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody has that image in their head of what people from Jersey are like. Forget about it. My name's Mickey, I'm from Jersey. I work at the electrical plant. How you doing? Shut up, dude, nobody likes you. Are you talking to me? No, I said, are you talking to me? All right, and now for some things right down the middle. First up is weather. Now, if you're someone who likes some diversity in your weather throughout the year, and you like to see all four seasons, sometimes even in the same day or week, you're gonna love New Jersey. But if you're someone who likes it to be hot all year round, you are not gonna like February. And on the other hand, if you're someone who likes the cold, you are not gonna be happy in July. Now another one down the middle, it depends on how you feel, is the driving. Since we tend to have a little bit more of that rural feel, 
You're gonna do a lot of driving when it comes to things like running errands. Now, if you like to drive like me, that's not a big deal. But if you're someone who wants to get in your car and be where you gotta go five minutes later, then you would see this as a con. And the other thing that could go either way is gas. Here in New Jersey, someone pumps your gas for you. Now, you could see this as a pro, when you pull up to the tank and it's raining or it's cold, you don't have to get out of your car and someone just comes up and pumps the gas for you. But the downside is you have to wait for someone to come pump your gas for you. And if the gas station's busy and they're taking care of multiple other people, you could sit there for a couple minutes before they even get to you. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Two Minute Tuesday. If you guys wanna add any pros or cons to this list, I would love to hear what you have to say. Go ahead and throw it in the comment section. And if you like what you see on this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click that little notification bell as I have a ton of content coming out. And as always, if you're thinking about making a move right here in the South Jersey area, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, send a telegram, send a carrier pigeon, whatever way you want to get in touch with me. I work with clients from all over the South Jersey area and I absolutely love it and I'd love to work with you as well. So for now, I hope everybody's having a fantastic Tuesday and I'll see you next time.